Artificial intelligence technology is here to stay guys, so the question is, what the hell do we do now? Let's talk about it. Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video we'll be talking about how AI will impact all of us with a focus on how it may affect artists and creators. The rapid advancement of AI will bring job losses, no question about that. Massive shifts in various industries regarding human to machine ratio but it will also bring incredible opportunities and brand new jobs. The AI technology has advanced so rapidly in recent years that it's hard to predict how quickly it will reshape our reality. What we already can see is that the past 100 years of technological advancement will seem like a joke in comparison to what AI can achieve in the future. And let me tell you, that's a very, very near future. So how does AI work? Artificial intelligence that's linked to the internet could be seen as an artificial neural network. It's a man-made system modeled after the structure and function of the human brain. Just like we use our brains to access various thoughts, AI can pull data from all sources simultaneously, making its learning capacity nearly instant and only limited by the computing power it has access to and of course the pool of data. The companies like Microsoft and Google invest heavily right now in development of the AI, which results in large amounts of computing power being available to improve it. That speeds up the evolution of AI even further, and that power is only increasing exponentially. To understand how AI works, we need to understand how it's built first. Now, AI systems are created using machine learning algorithms, which are designed to learn from data and improve the performance over time through experience. Now, this is similar to how humans are born and then learn and adapt through life experiences. So, you know, we're born and then life provides us with algorithms to adapt to and learn from, resulting in experience. While AI may be able to process large amounts of data and perform repetitive tasks faster than humans, it's important to remember that it doesn't have the same level of flexibility or creativity as a human brain. Now, the human brain is capable of complex problem solving and critical thinking and adapting to new situations, but it's slower at processing large amounts of data and performing repetitive tasks. That's where AI shines. It's also important to point out that even though we know how AI operates, we don't fully understand the backend process, which means we don't have complete control over it. Now that is scary, but at the same time, it's important to remember that AI is just not a technology that we have invented. Now overall, we need to consider the strength and limitations of both AI and the human brain when comparing their speed and performance. It's all relative and we need to think about how we can use AI in a way that benefits all of us. So what about the potential impact of AI on job market? right because you know we all worry about it it could be both good and bad and either of these are highly subjective like i said while ai will eliminate a lot of jobs specific jobs it will also create new opportunities and industry and we need to remember that ai is just not a technology like i said although it's sometimes referred to as the last technology we will need to develop that's how impactful we think ai will be jobs being lost due to new tech is nothing extraordinary if we look into our history, there are multiple instances of new techs affecting our lives. It's simply how evolution works. We have swapped rock for a tool, a rake for a combine harvester, and an abacus for a PC, just to, you know, name a few examples. And don't tell me you're not happy about it. I mean, we're all glad the technology involves because it improves our lives. So here is a very short list of jobs, just to give you a few examples, that were replaced by new tech just in recent decades, guys, which is a really fraction of a time. Manu Manufacturing jobs by robotics and automation in factories, data entry by software and automation technologies, retail by self-checkout system and automation inventory management, customer service by chatbots and other automated systems. And speaking of chatbots, you should check the new chat created by OpenAI. It's freaking amazing. Transportation by autonomous vehicles and drones, agriculture by machines.
machines, food service by automated stands, cleaning by robotic vacuums and other cleaning technologies, data analysis by artificial intelligence and machine learning, healthcare by medical technologies such as robotics, surgery and automated diagnostic systems, secretaries by office automation technologies like speech-to-text and autocorrect, travel agents by online travel booking, bank tellers by ATMs and online banking, typists by word processing software, telemarketers by automated phone system and voice recognition software, librarians by automated library cataloging systems and digital books, postal workers by emails and other electronic communication systems, stock traders by electronic trading platforms and algorithms, insurance agents by artificial intelligence and machine learning being used to evaluate insurance risks. Every year new jobs are being created but also some old jobs are disappearing. That is normal. We need to get used to it. So this has already affected hundreds of millions of people. AI will have far greater impact on our lives. So I'd recommend bracing the hell up and prepare. You know, regardless of the technological advancement, we did not go extinct. We did what humans do best. We adapt it. Now, even though this video applies to all of us, uh, you know, me being an artist and creator, I would like to focus a bit more now on how I think AI will or could impact artistic world. There is a widespread panic and outrage among the artistic community regarding AI right now. The main reason for this is possibility of many jobs disappearing due to the increasing use of AI in creative industries. And there is a fear that AI may be able to perform tasks that are currently done by human artists and creators, leading to displacement and reduced demand for traditional creative skills. You know, that's something to consider. Then another reason for the FOMO and outrage among artists is the fact that AI algorithms such as Midjourney etc are being fed data that is nothing else but copyrighted artwork created by us. So that's something that affects directly you know our work but also our livelihood. This raises concerns about the use of copyrighted material without permission or compensation as well as the potential for AI algorithms to create and distribute art that may be in this distinguishable from human-created works. These issues raise questions about intellectual property rights and role of AI in the creative process. So overall, the entire artistic community is concerned about the potential impact of AI on our livelihoods and the integrity of our work, and it's important to consider these concerns as AI continues to advance and be integrated into various industries. And if you think that Midjourney or similar sites are impressive now, you just wait a year if you want to be properly shocked. AI is nothing like traditional tech advancement when humans have to be involved all the time. It learns itself. It doesn't need us to evolve. The progress will be insanely fast and exponential. Now, I spent some time playing with Midjourney. It took me like about three days or four days, whatever. And I created some art. You can see it on screen right now. And it's great fun. But I can tell you right now that composition and detail placement is not fully there yet. I saw many issues with both. Same goes to rendering hands, bad language, and overall shapes of objects and the general flow in the image. There is much more to good images than just following the rules. In fact, remember that the best art breaks the rules and that skill comes with years of practice, life experiences and personal touch which AI lacks. Another thing is that AI learns its skills based off of images that we have created. And let me tell you, majority of art on the net is shit and that majority will hugely affect the AI algorithms. So the sheer fact that AI is using all these images to create its algorithms, it basically goes against it because it's using the best and the worst images at the same time. So it doesn't have this kind of a judgment yet. Um, I don't know if it will have a judgment, but at the moment it doesn't. So the artwork sometimes is really medical or really bad. So. Like I said, the technology isn't there yet, and I think it's not gonna be there for another few years. Nonetheless, AI is here and it will get better at what it does. So what do we do? Again, we bloody adapt. But how? That's the question, right? So let's answer it. There are several ways that artificial intelligence could potentially be used to improve art output and productivity 
for us as artists okay so here are some examples so we have generating new ideas so ai algorithms can analyze a large data set of existing art and identify patterns and trends you can use it to research the web if you're looking for something specific and this could potentially be used to generate new ideas or concept for us to explore image and video editing ai can be used to automate tasks such as color correction object removal and image enhancement we already have this you know photoshop content aware tool it's brilliant music production ai can assist with tasks such as beat matching or chord progression or even melody generation right so you can create let's say a piece of melody or maybe 10 of them and then think what you want to do with this writing and content creation ai can assist with tasks such as language translation content generation and grammar checking we have this too for example deep l the fantastic dictionary online which translates way better Better than Google does. Then you have design. AI can be used to generate designs and layouts or to assist with tasks such as pattern recognition. Then you have interactive installations. So AI can be used to create interactive installations that respond to audience input and environmental conditions in real time. You know, this could be huge. Then you have virtual reality and augmented reality. AI can be used to create immersive experiences and to enable real time interaction with virtual and augmented reality environments and then you have animations and special effects AI can be used to assist with tasks such as character animation and creation of special effects then you have data visualization AI can be used to create visual representations of data and to assist with tasks such as data analysis and trend identification then you have artistic collaboration so AI could be used to facilitate collaboration between artists allowing them to work together remotely in real time and finally we have personalization and customization and that's my favorite ai can be used to create personalized and customized artworks for individual users based on their preferences and characteristics so a bit like photo editing but on steroids right so what will happen in five or ten years you know will traditional art disappear i really don't think so in fact i believe that art will become more valuable the real art created by humans but think about it rolls royce cars are expensive because they are handcrafted with care and have long tradition there's a human touch to it a rolls is more expensive than far more technologically advanced bands or tesla i think the same principle applies to traditional art it is created with a level of skill and attention to detail that cannot be replicated by ai and it has a rich history of cultural significance that adds to its value art also is imbued with something that ai doesn't have love passion and emotion take photos for example Look at fake smile in a photo and tell me you don't cringe. You can feel it's fake, right? Nature cannot be faked. As such, I believe that traditional art will continue to be appreciated and valued by the society and even more so by collectors and art lovers. So I think that in a future made of steel and transistors, we will pay arm and leg for something that is imbued with soul, human touch and real sweat and tears on the other hand it's important to note that the art market is constantly evolving and adapting to new technologies and trends i mean look at digital photography look at digital editing look at you know all the ai and cgi effects in you know in movies it's all new stuff it didn't exist 10 or 20 years ago so the rapid development of ai in the art world may bring changes that we can't predict yet it's possible that ai generated art could increase in value if it becomes unique and sought after by collectors that's possible not to mention that corporation and game studios will pick up cheap ai tech over expensive humans whenever we can be replaced this means one thing get good at what you do study harder follow your vision and you know you'll be fine it's not good enough to be mediocre anymore okay it's time to get serious guys instead of panicking about the potential impact of ai on the art world we should consider how to use ai to improve our output and productivity guys remember 
remember, it's a tool. As artists, we have little influence over how the legal side of AI will be regulated. So stressing over it, it won't change a thing. That's out of our hands. What we need to do is to think how to use AI in our work to become more efficient and more deadly. That's what we need to do. So what is certain though, is that artificial intelligence may have a significant impact on how we approach the creative process. And here are my thoughts, okay? Art will not die. It's simply gonna be redefined. AI has a potential to change the way art is created and experienced, but it's unlikely to completely replace our role in the art world. Instead, I think art is gonna be redefined to include AI as a tool for creation and expression. So sort of like, you know, your third arm. Tomorrow's art will involve learning new technologies and tools. As AI becomes more dominant and present in the art world, it will be important for us to learn about the new technologies and tools being developed for creating and interacting with AI generated art. Now this could involve learning new software, interfaces or even hardware specifically designed for creating art using AI tech. Just to give you one example here guys, 3D headsets which allow you to sculpt in 3D. That was impossible a few years ago. We also have upcoming changes in aesthetics. AI has the potential to create art that is different from what has been created by us in the past, right? So as a result, we may see changes in the aesthetics of art as AI becomes more widely used. Is this new? It's not new, guys. I mean, look at the medieval ages. The art was completely different than now. It's just a natural progression. We need to embrace it, not be scared of it. Next thing we need to talk about is the new opportunities for creativity. Now, while AI may automate some tasks, it may also open up new opportunities for creativity by allowing artists to focus on other aspects of their work. Now, that is huge. Now, for example, artists may use AI to generate new ideas or automate certain tasks, freeing up the time and energy to focus on other creative projects. This is fantastic because it will basically save you time. And lastly, my advice to you is to become someone that others want to follow or imitate. Create art that is an example. So AI creates images by searching its database, which uh, consists of works created by us, all of us all the artists, right? Now, each of us is different and had different life experiences. That makes us special and very much alive. So no matter what AI does, it will never surpass human ingenuity and natural creativity because we experience something it cannot. We experience emotions. Now, AI cannot make two plus two equal five, but guess what? We can. So let's sum it up, yeah? AI is a tool that can be used to enhance or augment our capabilities rather than replace them. By embracing AI and learning about its potential, we can create new opportunities for artistic expression and innovation. Instead of being replaced by it, let's use it to create something new, something that we're good at, innovation. The reason why everyone is panicking about artificial intelligence is mostly because changes that happen too fast are difficult for us to process. It can be scary and difficult to comprehend. You need to enable the alpha mode of thinking, okay? Become the alpha artist. These changes provide new challenges and raise the bar, but they are also a part of life. Remember that evolution is a natural selection and it's ever present in our lives, whether you like it or not. Think about it. Capitalism thrives because of free market. And at the same time, it's true for technology and progress. If you cannot keep up, you will be left behind. So start fucking moving. Learn, study, improve. Instead of complaining and moaning, think about what you can do to stay ahead of the curve. How can you use new technology in your workflow to stay ahead of the competition? Use any tools at your disposal to get to your destination faster and with better results than others. For example, I used AI to help me write this script. I used the OpenAI chat. So I didn't have the AI type it all for me, but I use it for research. It found me the information I needed and helped me to organize it. I wanted to move quickly and efficiently and it rephrased certain paragraphs in seconds. Why would I do it myself and waste my time when I could use a machine to do it for me? The key here, guys, is that I knew what I wanted, exactly what I wanted, and I stayed in charge of the process. And the same you need to apply to your art. Now remember, as long as you know exactly what you want, you should use any, I mean any tool at your disposal to get shit 
done faster. And time is the ultimate currency in the universe because you cannot buy more of it. So use it wisely. And that's why here at Blender Bros, we love to create content for you guys together with Josh because we want to see you grow. Remember, we're just a one big family. We grow together, we learn from each other and no one is perfect. But we wanted to help you get started with Blender Hard Surface. That's why we created free course for you guys. It's called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender. It's brilliant, downloaded by over 20,000 people and they love it. So get it now, start learning quickly and efficiently. And remember about AI, don't be scared, just use it. Rio out.